Kevin Bauman, you ready to go? Yeah, yeah. Kevin, I guess, how healthy are you? And I guess, how does it feel to kind of get back in the flow of things? Yeah, um, I feel great. Uh, 100%. Um, you know, obviously last year with, with the injury was tough, but, um, you know, we have a great training staff, so I was able to get with them. And um, I feel back to better than I was before, so I feel great. I felt great this spring, and uh, just keeping on top of that yeah, rehab yeah. has been huge for me. So, um, but now I feel great. And then, despite the injury last year, I mean, just, just kind of getting to sit back and watch. I mean, what did you kind of learn about your game and where you can improve it? Yeah, so I, I took that opportunity, obviously, not being able to do things physically to work more on, on the mental side of things, um, kind of overcoming some of those obstacles. So, although I wasn't able to, you know, physically be on the field, I was, I was taking those reps. Um, you know, I was still, I'm watching the film, I'm taking those mental reps, and um, once I got back on the field, I, I could feel all that come to fruition, and um, it, it made a world of difference. Um, just taking those mental reps and seeing it translate onto the field uh, in a physical way was was big for me. And then, what has kind of been your focus on the field this spring to kind of develop and grow? Um, so, with with Coach Park coming in, we're um, everything's about detail. Um, you know, no matter whether you have a great rep or a poor rep, um, there's always things to fix. There's always things you can strive to be better at. So um, every day I come into practice, um, you know, I'll write down two or three things I'm really going to focus on that day. Um, you know, whether it's hand placement in the run game or um, you know attacking the shoulder in the, in the pass game, um, but just have those things. Uh, to work on in a concrete way so that um, you know I can really mark my progress and, and you know see my improvement as I go. So um, you know every day I'm just picking new things to work on and focus on for that practice and um, I feel it paying off and I feel great as of now. And then with him not talking today, Mitchell Evans, I guess what have you kind of seen from him this spring? Well, Mitch has been great. Uh, I feel like the tight end room as a whole has been performing to uh, you know a high level this spring. Um, you know, we're having fun while we do it, and, and um, I feel like we all complement each other very well. And, you know, no matter what combinations you throw out there, we're, we'll get the job done. Any other questions in the room? Uh, how would you describe sort of the Mike told us a little bit? He's been working on his vocal leadership. Have you seen a change in that at all so far? Or is that kind of like about what you've been seeing from him before? Um, so, yeah, he's definitely taken a step. Um, in terms of leadership as a whole uh, for the team. Um, like last year, he, he became uh, really a leader for the offense. And now this year, even in the spring, you see him take that next step where he's a leader for the entire team. Um, and especially that coming from the tight end room is huge. Um, so, you know, he knows we're right by his side with that too. So um, not only is he a leader for the team, but um, you know, the way we look at it, the tight end room is a, lead, is a leading group for the team. So, um, so no, he's, he's done a great job of being a leader. and. He's gotten more vocal and you know expresses his opinion more, and it, it's been great. Uh, can you speak to the competitiveness of the spring practices and all that? Guys, said the competition is ramped up this year. Absolutely, yeah. Um, so practices are you know a little bit shorter, but every every period is a work period, and, and we're competing every single period. Um, you know, inside run, one on ones, uh, you know, eleven on eleven. We're every period we do, we're competing. Even in indie periods, um, you know, we're working. We're working with each other. We're competing with each other. So, um, you know, we're giving each other looks in the tight end room, but um, at the same time, we're, we're competing. You know, we're always trying to one up each other. We're always trying to be the best. You know, we're trying to be great in our room. So, competition has been great. It's something that we look forward to. It's something we strive off of. Um, but it's, it's, it's fun. The competition's fun, and that's what makes the sport so great. Would you say the strength of this group is more on the pass catching side or more on the blocking side? Both. Both. We, we can do both uh, to a very high level, and we're going to keep working on both. Um, but our mentality is we're going to get the job done in the pass game, and we're going to get the job done in the run game. Uh, we're going to be physical. We're going to be fast. We're going to be good after the catch. But uh, but our, our mentality is we can do it all. And as far as uh, bringing along a new quarterback, obviously a reliable tight end can help with that. How do you see your role playing in that? Um, you so um, both quarterbacks have done a great job this spring. And I'm um, excited to see the progression of that. But, um, you know, I, I come to work every day, and you know, I'm going to do my job and make sure that, you know, I'm improving each and every day. And, um, you know, any way that that fits into the offense is, is good with me, you know, in the, in the run game, in the pass game, um, either way. So I'm excited for my role, and, um, you know, every day I'm working to get better at it to uh, excel. Any other questions in the room? No? All right, we'll move to Zoom. Raise your hand if you have any questions. Kyle Kelly, can I mute?
Yeah, hi, Kevin. Uh, Kyle Kelly from Inside ND Sports on the Rivals Network. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, so I know you were touching on earlier about the, the role Michael Mayer has taken as more of a leader this you know off season, specifically in spring ball. I just wanted to get your perspective on if there's any ways that you know he's helped you individually uh, throughout throughout this spring. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, um, as I said, yeah, he's, he's grown tremendously as a leader um, for the team as a whole. But then, individually, um, you know, being able to play alongside such a great player, um, you know, I'm, I'm able to ask those questions and, and get different insights on the way he sees things. So, um, you know, we're always we're always trying to help each other out and. You know, he's obviously always open to answer any questions that any of us have, but just having such a great player who's already accomplished so much and having him by your side to be able to help you through those things is uh, a tremendous, tremendous opportunity. So just just having someone like him there to, you know, kind of not guide you, but just to, you know, be alongside you and, and help you out in those different areas has been great. So, um, you know, he's, he's a great leader for the team, but then in the tight end room, he, he's always there to help all of us. and. Um, you know, give us different insights on things. Um, and a quick follow up to that because you know you you guys are both juniors. You guys have kind of come up together. In, in what ways, you know, other than you know him being more vocal and being leader, have you really seen him grow throughout these you know three or so years in one day? Yeah. Um, you know, he's just got he's just got this swagger to him, and, and it's contagious. Um, you know, you see him make a big play, he, you know, does a little shoulder shrug, and that stuff's contagious. So just the way he carries himself on the field and off the field, you know, uh, you know model student, model just really human being, and uh, to be able to have something like that to, you know, to work towards, and um, he's just done a great job at, uh, you know, being able to help us all. So, um, yeah, his body language, everything about him is just has been great. One last quick question. In what ways have you helped uh, Michael Mayer? Um, you know, vice versa. Just as I said, you know, he's there uh, for me and for us. It's the same, it's the same thing. So, um, you know, sometimes maybe I'll see things a little bit differently than he does and uh, help him see adjustments during plays or right after plays, you know. Um, whether I see something he doesn't coverage-wise, front-wise, um, something like that. So just, just being able to help us out being able to help each other both on the field with football and then off the field with, with you know, the rest of that stuff with confidence things and, and just, you know, really having each other's back is, is huge. Um, so once again, just on the field and off the field, we kind of feel like we complement each other well and, and are always pushing each other to be great. So, um, you know, whether you have a great rep or a poor rep, it's always, okay, now be better. Take that next step forward. Um, you know, me to him and then him to me. So uh, we're just always pushing each other to be great. And that's, that's what I love about it. Any other questions on Zoom? No. All right. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you.